So Catherine, we're living longer than previous generations. What does that mean in terms of how we view work and retirement? So as many as one in three children born today in the UK have a decent chance of living to 100. So I think that presents a fantastic opportunity for us all to think really differently about what we do and when we do it, mm -hmm. when we work, when we learn, when we rest and play. But it also brings a big challenge, doesn't it? in terms of do we all have the resources that it will take to sustain that sort of life and make the most of that opportunity over the course of longer lives? Do we have the money, the work, the health, the social connections? So what are people telling us about their work lives today and their aspirations? Well, generally, if you ask them, most people do still expect to retire. And on average, that retirement date is around the age of 65. Mm. But there's big variation. And that variation, interestingly, has changed over time. So in some analysis that we did recently using the British Social Attitudes Survey, we found that there's a group of people 20 years ago who were expecting to retire in their 50s that's really mm. declined in the last 20 years. And instead, what we see nowadays is many more people saying that they don't expect to retire until they're in their 70s. And in terms of work, really the thing that people say they're looking for at the moment, of all ages actually, is flexible work. And that's flexible mm. in terms of when you work, how many hours you work, how you work, and um, where you work.